Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to use the Google AI Studio which is a powerful tool by Google that lets you create and experiment with AI models without writing any complex code. So if you are a beginner, this is the perfect video for you and you don't know anything about the Google Studio AI. In this video, I am going to show you how to use that for yourself so you can later experiment with it with your own purpose. So first, you just need to go to any browser, you can use Mozilla Firefox, I am using Chrome here. Just search in the Google for Google Studio AI and then here you'll find the googleaistudio.com just click on it and after that if you're first time it may need to you may need to accept some agreement so just click on this I accept and then you're good to go and after that you, here you'll find this simple interface which is very easy to use if you're a beginner don't worry the all the settings the that you need for this Google Studio AI I'm going to show you how to use this. Now let's take a quick walkthrough of how it looks and what you can do here at the center of the interface you'll find the main prompt option where you can type your prompt, instruction or question for the AI model and on the right hand side you'll see a menu where you can choose Gemini model you want to use that Google provides access to different version of Gemini and each model comes with own unique strength and capabilities. For example, if you're working on more advanced tasks or on faster response times, you might choose a higher tier Gemini model. If you're just experimenting or learning or a basic model, you just do fine. Now let's talk about some of the key settings you'll find in the interface. These settings give you control over how the AI behaves and how creative or focused its responses will be. For example, you'll find an option called temperature here. So this controls the randomness of the creativity in the AI response. A higher temperature means more creative answers while a lower temperature results in more focused and predictable output. Also you'll see additional settings like thinking mode and see thinking budget. Thinking budget settings for more advanced use cases. Once you familiarize yourself with the settings of AI, let's just first try some prompt in the prompt area. Now I have write a prompt here which is write a short poem for both and just click run here. Make sure you have selected a Gemini model from the drop down settings here and also I have turned on the thinking mode here. Now as you can see I have lowered the temperature and now it's only give me a full light of a poem so if I just now increase the temperature as you can see it give me another response to the exact same prompt here. So you can tweak the temperature or switching the other Gemini models to how the results vary now that you have seen. Now we have seen how to generate simple poem. Let's explore the powerful capabilities of AI Studio. So this platform is not just for writing poetry. It supports a wide range of tasks types like text generation, code generation, chat interaction, translation summaries and more. So you can write different type of code languages. For example, type write a Python function. To calculate the factorial number, the model will respond and working with code, you can even test different languages like JavaScript or Kotlin, develop your code or create the first prototype of your application. Now let's go to the left here, you can see there's often called stream. This is a very useful tool here. You can talk with it. You can also use a webcam to show something in the Google Gemini and also share your skin and go to any application and you can share how to use that application and you can type here and this will allow to help what is the function in the work in the software so that is going to be very long tutorial for you i'm just showing i'm just showing you how you can use that and there's an option also the video generation so you can create videos with google po2 in the google ai studio you can choose here now 16 by 9 ratio 9 by 16 and the video generation is now 8 seconds so you just have to give a prompt here and if you just click on run, it will start to create a video for you. I have chosen the 9 by 16 ratio, that, that's why it's using the 9 by 16 ratio. So as you can see, after a couple of seconds, it made me this video with a simple prompt, a cat video. So right now, the Google AI Studio VO2 has a limitation. You can use it only for 3 to 4 generation. After that, you have to wait for another day. So this is the video generation, how to create video. Also, you can create images with it. So you just have to choose the, you just need to choose the model Gemini 2.0 and choose the flash preview image generation. Just type here the prompt that you want to image. So create an image of house and click on run. And after that, it will also give you the prompt and this is the image. So right now you can also create images with it and try the different model and try the different settings to get the different results. So you can use that image for your own purpose. So this is just a beginner level video that I showed you here. There I have shown you how to use the chat version, how to use the settings, how to create an image, how to create a video and also how to use the stream. 
So that's it guys, found this video helpful, please subscribe and thank you for watching.